fire becomes life and life becomes fire. It's like feeding yourself a dose of sugar for 10 minutes and you have the energy to do. So as the red sand dunes become the open studios of the great Fetka Trachopsan Busman, born to two families, the so-called Kripers and the Orch, although his father was a Swartz. But that alone didn't make any difference. A huge load of factors came being like a rotten egg just rotting away and then finding love and expressing yourself through art. Isn't that what most artists do, our musicians? The winds, the moon, the way the sun rises in the morning all affects the consciousness of the old ways. And this is still embodied in the art that we journey into, which is tracks of the past, like a baby tracking her mother by looking at the footprints instead of crying because mom is not in the house or in the bed next to her. She just simply crawls out and looks at the footprints. Wise wisdom, words, teachings around the fire, stories that come alive, where there's truth, where it's all so warm that you can't put anything under the table, like in boardrooms where some of the stuff goes under the table and then we have realities like we have today. Corruption, so with this art there's no corruption, there's just a purity of a fine artist called a Picasso by some, but mostly he was just a herder, somebody who loves sheep from the desert, from the hunting gathering into the next phase of evolution with sheep walking with his dogs on horseback, whistling, playing guitar at night around the fire. In the daytime, just sitting when we introduced him to know paper medium and to modern medium to draw with through a process of beautiful people we met who just recognized from every line that came to life and danced around the flames and the trees and the boundaries that expresses rivers and nations and tribes or clans however we want to call it it's not that important one of the important things the artist said we the west we talk too much the art speaks to the eye that looks upon the art and the fire, even though it's just a voice, it's the voice of his wife, Belinda. I am now married to the Or family, one of the elders of the tribe. God led me in, in ways that I can't deny. And I'm here to continue dialogue through the medium of Zoom and bring you the beauty. So we can just, just for a while through art, not just Bushman's art, See, they're still drawing all over the deserts, all over the world, the artists, the musicians, the radio, to bring love, because that is what it's all about. Fetgat's journey was about love and compassion and humanity. And the next video or talk that I send by the Kalahari Desert to the professionals in Cape Town, I will do a talk with my face. I would like to keep this as unprofessional as what I can do it because this is what I felt like doing right now just to have it on not setting up the camera for the right angle and the right emotions but to listen to the voice and zoom into the art and feel not just the Kalahari but the world as we know it with its love and compassion